1975 and welcome to Elite Dangerous on the Xbox One and today I've got a video for you from Col Colonia. This is Scooby doing a bit of piracy in a place with more stars than people and having a bit of fun whizzing around in a uh, cool running crate. Uh, this is his crate phantom pirate ship and he scanned this guy while he was inside the station so he knew the guy only had limpets on him but he was like, you know what, I'm going to pirate him anyway because I've been doing piracy up here for hours and not got any targets. Now, I'm not going to rag on this guy too much for uh, combat logging. I'm not going to put this in my cheats playlist because, uh, you know, I don't want this guy getting, you know, enough stick. He's in he's in Clogonia. Um, more than 80% of commanders that I pirate in the bubble uh, combat log almost immediately. Uh, if you fire a hatch breaking limp bit, you just expect no cargo because the person's locked before it hits. That's kind of the situation within the game. Uh, many people, many of my own subscribers, believe that you know combat logging on a pirate or griefer is a perfectly acceptable and valid tactic, um, which disappoints me. Um, but that's kind of where we're at as a community. I don't think it helps because Dark Marauder has always had a really good reputation and I think still have a reasonable reputation as a roleplay pirate faction. However, certain people in the community have been recently uh, describing us as gankers or terrorists or stuff like that. There's a particular law enforcement faction pushing this narrative everywhere they can, which is interesting because they gank more people than we do, yet we're supposedly the gankers and the griefers. It's an interesting one, um, you know. Uh, recently we robbed one of their commanders at Community Gold for a few tons of cargo and let his Type 9 go freely. Um, so I'm not sure how they can quantify that. Still, it still doesn't help our reputation um, as pirates if people are spreading false information about us and claiming we are suddenly now terrorists, gankers and griefers. Uh, you know, it just doesn't help. I mean, like I say, about 80% of the people I try and pirate combat log on me um, if I fire a hatchbreaker, I very often just get the message that it's siphon cargo without actually seeing any cargo. Now, Scooby here, he does one thing slightly incorrect. He doesn't actually message the guy beforehand. However, he has been following the guy since the station. And the first thing he does when he indicts him is fire a hatchbreaker limit. He doesn't fire a single round, a single shot. And this guy combat logs. Now... The combat log itself is, like I say, it's one of those things. I'm not going to vilify the guy. I don't know if he's a persistent logger. I don't know if it's the first time he ever logged. And I don't really care. He's in a Corvette. Scooby's in a crate uh, Phantom with no shields. You know, I really don't know why you would combat log to that. Maybe it's the stealth thing. He's panicking a bit because he can't uh, see what's attacking him or he's not sure what's going on. Or maybe it's he just didn't really want to lose those limpets. I mean, limpets, I mean, especially to a Corvette pilot, clearly limpets are so expensive that, you know, they must be protected at all costs. Uh, you know, but I, honestly, I don't know those reasons for logging. But what I found interesting was uh, the attitude of both the player and also of the player group that he's involved with. Uh, because both shared this opinion that it's perfectly acceptable to log if you believe the guy to be a griefer. Uh, Scooby argued that we were pirates. Uh, they argued that Scooby didn't message beforehand, which is true, um, and saying that they that they think the Dark Marauders are griefers. Okay, uh, he doesn't fire a single shot at you, and you're calling him a griefer. Now, when the guy did log back in, Scooby did go for the attack, but he's in a pirate crate with no shields. The guy's in a Corvette with crimes on. Inevitably, the police show up, and eventually Scooby escapes on 33% hull. Um, but you know, Scooby will now obviously go looking for this gunway with a Corvette um, for a bit of retribution about that. And I'm sure the guy will respond, you know, in a similar fashion to how he responded to being hatchbreaker. Uh, but as you can see, the hatchbreaker uh, gets the message as cargo, but no cargo drops. The ship's going off in a direction in a straight line. It looks like a log to me. Um, this is the response when Scooby contacted the leader. Um, now saying that it's not cheating, it's just glitching. Now this is taken from the Wikipedia for Elite Dangerous, and as you can see, it is classified as an undesirable exploit, not part of the game, and is an offence. Uh, that's always been the stance of FDEV when it comes to combat logging and tasking. Uh, 
Uh, you know, there is a 15 second timer for a reason. You should quit through the menu if you want to do it that way. Uh, that's frowned upon in the community doing that in open, but it, that's what FDev pushes the legitimate way of exiting the game. Uh, logging, as in, you know, task killing uh, or pulling the cable on your internet, it is a cheating. No matter how you dress it up, you're cheating. You're avoiding piracy <laughs> of a few limpets by cheating. It's not. It's not rocket science here, people. Um, I show it again just to, to clearly show it that you know the limper hits. The limper says it's got cargo. It doesn't deliver any cargo. In fact, the reason the point defense stopped firing is because he'd logged. Um, but there we go. That is a classic combat log. That's how it looks. That's how it plays out. And um, I'm very disappointed in a player group that would have that belief that they think that it's perfectly alright to do this and that it's just a glitch. It's cheating, boys. That's all. Thanks for watching.